Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So with this uh, video, we are going to start a small series that is uh, interview series and uh, how to clear interviews and how to crack interviews, how to crack a specific round. So I'll give you a uh, step by step with different uh, interviews with manager, with a director, or if any CTO is taking your round or any developer or any test automation engineer is taking your round. So how to crack those interviews step by step. I've been taking a lot of mock interviews. I see a pattern with a lot of candidates. They do a lot of mistakes. And the same mistake is actually uh, because of those mistakes only, they are not able to grab the offers. And then they are always struggling because of that thing. Later on, we can talk about the resume tips and everything. So assume that the first scenario is uh, you are having a first round. Maybe it's a Zoom call. You have to share your screen and it's a, it's a coding round or you have to write some code for that or maybe some problem statement that has been uh, given to you and then you have to solve that problem. The problem could be a DS algo problem or it could be a typical test automation use case or scenario problem also. Couple of things. First of all, that try to understand the problem. What exactly the interviewer is asking? What is the question? And always clear your doubts with the interviewer that what exactly they are expecting but don't ask uh, so many things try to think try to analyze the problem and then on the basis of that whatever the queries and the doubts that it's quickly coming in your mind immediately solve it and then you start writing the code let's see for example you're giving one interview and then you have to write a java code for that but don't waste your time unnecessarily in creating you know a class name and then giving public static void main it does not look good immediately come to the point, write a generic method or create a simple method and then start writing and implement the logic. So first, on the basis of your basic understanding, step by step, try to solve the problem in different components, or you can say divide the problem in multiple parts. Try to solve it. Okay, yeah, this statement says that this could be a corner case. This could be a spatial case. This could be a positive or negative case. Let me think and then step by step, let me add those things. And then you have to start writing the code. And then while writing the code, you always discuss that, okay, this is my approach with the interviewer. Why I'm saying this? Because let's say you are not able to solve the problem within 30 minutes or 45 minutes also, or sometimes you are having only 20, 25 minutes for a specific problem and you're not able to solve it. But the kind of discussion that you are doing, the kind of language, the kind of technical words and the technology and the approach that you're discussing with your, uh, with your interviewer, that matters a lot. That can give a very good impression to him or her so that whenever he or she is giving the feedback on your resume or maybe transferring the feedback to the next round or to the HR that, okay, yeah, this candidate is really good. His approach or his or her approach was really good. And I really uh, liked the way he was solving the problem. He was continuously discussing with me and then taking care about what exactly the problem that we had to solve. So although he could not solve it or maybe he solved it not exactly, but at least he tried. Instead of saying this thing that, okay, no, I cannot solve it. It's not my cup of tea. And some people I have seen that they not even uh, see the problem. The moment they see that, okay, it's a coding problem or coding question, immediately they get panic and they say that, no, it's not my cup of tea. I cannot solve it. And then you are immediately rejected. And just because of this thing, you will be into unnecessary unnecessary demotivated, unnecessary depression for a couple of days that, okay, no, I could not solve it. I prepared a lot, but still I cannot solve that particular problem because of this thing. So try to understand that whatever the understanding that you are having it. And I'm pretty much sure that after basic learning, after basic practice for the interviewer, you, I'm hundred percent sure that, okay, at least some 10, 20, 30% of the problem that you are able to understand that. So first, Try to understand and then discuss with the or whatever the interviewer is there. And then you try to uh, jot down and then on the basis of that, try to solve that specific problem and then keep adding some good cases. So let's say you have created a positive flow. After that, you think about, okay, fine. These are the number of methods. You call these methods and then write in a specific sequence so that you can get a desired output. And now test it quickly that, okay, yeah, this is working for the positive case. This is working for the negative case. Have I applied any null check? Have I applied any, any kind of, let's see, blank check or empty check or any other spatial corner cases? Have I applied for that or not? Let's see, for example, you are creating a calendar utility. So have I applied any leap year or 28 days or 29 days in February, 30 days or 31 days or 12 months or total number of days in a specific month? Have I covered all these scenarios or not? 
like this. So try to implement all the different type of checks and write always create a generic method. And this method I'm calling by passing different values. So these values will be your test data. Whenever I call that a specific function or method or whatever the language that you are using it. And then it says that, okay, yeah, this code is like almost optimized or it's working most of the time for different set of data that I'm supplying. It's working and giving me the right output. Maybe for some output, it's not working later or we can optimize it. Or you can give a, a typical uh, answer on the basis of your understanding that, okay, yeah, we can use this. We can use this collection. We can use this data structure to solve that specific problem. We can do that instead of not attempting at all that always gives a bad impression don't expect that okay they will uh, ask the next question and then on the basis of that uh, they will move you to the next round or something like this this is a pattern that everyone follows that because there are other candidates also you have to be proactive during the interview process and then keep asking keep discussing what exactly make it a normal casual discussion with the interviewer the way you are talking with your colleague to solve a specific problem in your project the more and more friendly approach that you are using it to solve a problem more uh, having a better conversation not too much focus on the solving the problem it's an art the way you are getting the things out of the interviewer what exactly he or she expecting this is how most of the people they are i mean cracking the interviews and they are getting the offers if you have that skill Definitely, it will help you a lot in your career to grab some really good offers. So that's my first advice for this through this video that please be proactive while solving the problem at a time of interview. Either you are going for the face to face, you are giving the answers on the whiteboard or you are sharing the screen on the Zoom call, opening a notepad or Eclipse or IntelliJ or whatever. Don't waste your time on unnecessary things. Directly come to the point, create a specific uh, method and the logic try to implement in that area that will help you a lot so that's a quick tip that i really want to share thank you so much